Hello guys and gals, and welcome uh, to another episode of Legendary Aspects. Today we're going to be going over the legendary aspect known as the Retribution Aspect, or the Aspect of Retribution. Uh, this particular aspect is an interesting one because not only does it offer you a chance to freely stun distant enemies, which if you are unaware of how distant works, uh, it's very simple. Uh, you can utilize the Kyovashad circle here, and if you stand in the center of the Kyovashad waypoint, um, this outer circle right here represents close and anything past this outer circle, like out here, is considered to be distant. Anything within the circle is close. Outside the circle is distant. Uh, it's very, very simple. This particular effect is only an 8% chance uh, to stun enemies for 2 seconds when they hit you. So, you know, if you have like a corpse bow or something shooting at you from the outside, it could potentially stun them. Not really particularly useful, though, because the corpse bows are probably going to one-shot you if you don't see them. The other effect on this though is particularly potent and that is that you deal 10 percent times 10 to 20 percent by the way increased damage to stunned enemies so it's a multiplier for if the monster is currently stunned and if you stun things on a regular basis like say maybe you're a lightning sorceress um, or you're a barbarian using ground stomp or a couple other characters that can stun things on a regular basis you can get a multiplier here to help your damage output for when those monsters are stunned. Um, now, this actually does go up depending on what you put it on. So it's 20% on a ring, but it also can go up to 40% if you put it on a two-handed, and it can go up to 30% if you put it on an amulet. So it's a pretty hefty little bonus of multiplier. Now, how does that multiplier work? Well, it's very simple. Um, it's 30%, or in this particular case, it's 20% times. 20% times would be represented as times 1.20. So times 1.20, like if this were the damage number, you could say 5,000 times 1.20. Um, this also uh, is the equivalent of, uh, that is, uh, it's just an additional damage bonus. And of course, it goes up to 0.4 if you put it on a two-hander. The thing about this is a lot of people kind of get stuck on that first part, which is distant enemies have an 8% chance to be stunned, which isn't really the main purpose of this ring. The main purpose of this ring is really just to give you a free stun and also a multiplier to those stunned monsters, which is pretty effective. Um, all in all, it's not a bad item, but it is sort of niche because it does require you to actually have stuns, and if you have stuns, you can dish out lots of damage. Now, uh, this particular ring, which is the Retribution Ring, um, can be found on uh, a lot of different items. It is capable of being found on gloves, offhand, one-hand, two-hand, ring, and amulet. Um, and on top of that, um, if you want to gamble it from the gambling vendor, you are better off utilizing one-handed weapons um, on the Barbarian uh, or the uh, Focus, the offhand, on the Necromancer, the Sorceress, and the Druid. Uh, it does look like the Necromancer with the offhands and the Barbarian with the one-handed, as well as the Sorcerer with the offhand, is your best chance. And this is because they have the least number of competing aspects for those slots. It's really simple to calculate. They just We just write them all down, figure it out, and this is over on Diablo4.life if you want to use this gambling tool. It works for all the classes and all the aspects, by the way. Um, personally... I tend not to use this one unless I'm on a character that's specifically exploiting stuns. Uh, one character that's very in the spotlight right now is the Ball Lightning Sorceress. The Ball Lightning Sorceress has, obviously, one of the biggest chances to stun pretty much everything around them, and that's because she's lightning, and she does lots of lightning damage over a course of time. Um, when you're using something like Arclash, um, Arclash has a free stun that comes in, Basically, whenever you swipe 10 times, so that's one stun. Um, you can also stun monsters um, by utilizing the Raiment of the Infinite with Teleport. Um, you can stun monsters using the Convulsion Passive, which gives you a 9% chance to stun enemies for 3 seconds. Um, there are tons of different ways that you can add stuns into the build, and also ways that you can utilize those stuns to your advantage, like Shocking Impact, which gives you free lightning damage every single time you stun an enemy. Um, and so if you're building a character that's based around stuns, this might be a good option for your character, although there may be better options. It's always important to consider that even though this one might be a good option, is there something else that works all the time or more effectively? Because it, this one is based around a crowd control effect, which is a stun, 
This means that the ability or this item doesn't really give you much of a bonus at all versus a monster that is not capable of being stunned. So if the monster is unstoppable, or if the monster is um, under the diminishing returns, which makes them temporarily unstoppable uh, because they've been crowd controlled too much, or you're fighting a boss who cannot be stunned, um, this ring doesn't give you any benefit. So in certain situations, you're going to notice that this ring kind of falls off because, well, you can't stun a monster. And if you can't stun the monster, then you can't get the bonus, right? Um, I think it's a pretty good one for certain builds. Uh, if you have an extra slot that you just need to put something in and you don't really know what it is. But I do think there's other aspects that are probably going to outweigh this one in a lot of scenarios. Um, things like, I'm trying to think here, uh, the Band of Control might be a better option because it does give versus uh, Immobilize, Stunt, and Frozen, which is a broader spectrum. And as you can see, it's 25% to 35%. So it goes up to 35%, and this one only goes up to 20 um, So in this particular case, the Band of Control might be a better choice than the Circle of Retribution. Although you could potentially use both, um, in which case you would get the stun damage bonus from both of these things. Um, but then you would be running two effects that would not affect unstoppable monsters, which is also something that you might have to consider. Um, it's, it's definitely, I don't think, one of the best aspects. Uh, but it's useful in its certain niche scenarios. And, and that's the unfortunate thing about niche items is that niche items tend to be only useful in those niche scenarios. Uh, much the same way that the Lama Staff of Lama Sem is really only useful to a Charged Bolt Sorceress and has no use really outside of the Charged Bolt Sorceress, right? <clears throat> anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, even when we're talking about something as simple as the aspect of retribution. And uh, as always... Keep watching.